Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. Yay, I'm so excited about this week's projects. Oh my gosh. I think they're my favorite. I think they're my most favorite Facebook Friday projects ever. Um, I'm excited for you to see them. I think that you'll like them. If you like the Zany Zebra stamp set, hopefully you'll like them. All right, let me look and see if I am in the right place. I think I am. Hello, all of you trying to find comments. Okay, there we go. Let's see. All right, good. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. It's Friday again, um, and we have three new projects. I'm already working on next week's projects. So I'm excited about those too. Oh, so many fun things to work with. I love when a new catalog comes out. I feel like I'm super creative and have so many ideas after, you know, looking at the same catalog for a year, you kind of get tired. But then when you have all new things, it's fun to start designing. All right, so this week, three Zany Zebra projects. Here it is. I wonder how many of you have actually ordered this already. It was it was number one on my list, I think, out of all the stamp sets. It's so cute. I really like cute, whimsical images, and this one definitely is cute. And it has really great um, sentiments that go with it, too. And it's uh, pretty cheap as far as our stamp sets go. So um, that's what we're going to be using today. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, and you'll find three photos of today's projects and under the last photo there's a link for the PDF and the PDF looks like this it has all three projects on it and it has um, the items and measurements there's a lot of measurements today guys you're gonna need this for sure um, oh unless you says you are saying that yours is on its way huh shipping's taking a little bit longer these days isn't it I know um, okay, so let me run through some just, you know, some stuff, some announcements before we get started. That'll give everybody a chance to join us and then we will get started stamping. Uh, let's see. Okay, if you haven't seen the new catalog, surely you guys have seen it, right? Surely. Uh-oh, I just dropped my pen and it fell apart. Um, this is the new catalog. If you don't have it and you want it, shoot me a message. I have some, I can get you one. Um, and um, it's a good one, it really is good. And you know what's funny is that we have another new catalog coming in uh, August, the holiday catalog. Usually, in the last, I don't know how many years, the holiday catalog went live in September. Now it goes live in August. So already there's gonna be another catalog. Um, so we'll have lots and lots of good things to get us through the rest of the year. Hopefully, Hopefully we won't all be stuck at home for the next six or nine months. Um, hopefully we're going to be able to get out some. But if we are stuck at home, we've got lots of good things to get us through those times at home. Um, so that's the new catalog. There is, There are two different promotions this month um, in conjunction with this catalog. If you uh, put in an order that is over $250, you get extra Stampin' Rewards. I'm distracted, my fan is super high. You know, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm distracted, it's like blowing things around and I'm confused about where things are. Um, Stampin' Rewards, you get on an order, um, anytime your order goes over $150, you get what we call Stampin' Rewards. I'm gonna turn to the page so you can see it in your catalog page 187 and if you've been a Stampin' Up! customer for a long time you know that these are designed um, for hosts like if you host a workshop at your house if I were to come to your house and do projects with your friends and you collected orders um, then party sales that's what they call it party sales over $150 would earn Stampin' Rewards um, but it doesn't have to be that scenario. If you put in an order yourself over $150, you get Stampin' Rewards. It doesn't have to be a class or a workshop. If you and maybe two friends combine your orders and it's over $150, you get those Stampin' Rewards. Even if you put in an online order, it's gonna prompt you once you get over $150 to pick out free stuff. And so if you look at the chart, it kind of builds as it goes up. Um, if you normally at $250, you earn $25 in Stampin' Rewards. During June, till the end of the month, 
you get an additional $25 after you hit that $250 threshold. So I just want you to be aware of that. If you have a friend or two that you wanna combine orders with to get up to that $250 mark, um, you guys could split the $50. Or if you, are, you have a long wish list and you wanna put in a big order to get those extra Stampin' Rewards, you'll get them just on a regular customer order, okay? Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that because I don't want you to, to leave money on the table, you know, if your order wasn't, if it was $249, <laughs> you know, bump it up so you can get another $25. Just wanna make sure you guys know, okay? Um, Cindy says, who doesn't love their own stamp at a party? That's right, it's like your own party, right? Can you imagine how fun that'll be when that order comes in? I know. The other um, special I have to tell you about, and I know it's backwards, because my screen is backwards, um, pick, a free bundle. The starter kit is always $99. Um, you get to pick out, I put this back over here and I need it. You pick out $125 in product of your choice. Anything you want for $99 and um, free shipping too on that. So during, and if you want the details, that's 188, okay? Um, so for $99, you get $125 of product, your choice. During June, you also get an additional bundle. What's a bundle? It's those product um, groups that go together. So like a stamp and a punch that go together. And I, and I always tell you guys, make sure you look for that bundle price. Those are bundles. So it might be the stamp and the punch that go together or the stamp and the dies that go together. And any of them are available for that, all right? So you get... Um, you get to pick any of those you want on top of the $125, free shipping, $99. After that, you get your discount um, for at least through the end of September. Um, you get my PDFs for free. Everybody in my first level gets my PDFs for free. You get class, uh, my class kits at a discount. Um, there's lots of benefits. Plus, you'll be able to, if you buy the starter kit in June, then in July, you will actually be able to order from the holiday catalog early because demonstrators always get to order early. Just saying. It's a pretty good perk if you ask me. So if you want more details on that, I'm going to add a link here. Um, to the starter kit page on my blog. So after I update the video, when I'm done, you can look for that link and hop over. If you wanna look at it right now, go to pinkbuckaroo.com and up at the top, click the tab that says, um, what does it say, starter kit or join? All right, look up there and you'll find it. All right, okay, so then um, the all-star tutorial bundle, I do these every month with 11 other designers. We all pick one suite and we each design a different project. Uh, this month, it's the World of Good Suite. Um, so if you like the World of Good Suite, you'll like this. This is free to anybody who orders $50 or more with me. And they, I mean, it's like 75 pages worth of tutorials. And let me see, I'm gonna put it up close so you can see the sneak peeks, all right? Um, you can get this free with a $50 order. And I usually send those out on Fridays. I haven't sent it out today. I need to set this on my computer and remember to do this as soon as I'm done. Um, my project looks like this this month. It's a little gift card holder. Uh, I'll link it again here in the video. And you get so you get it for free if you spend $50 with me. If you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to put in an order with me, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. All right. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna put that over here so I remember to send those out this afternoon. And last but not least is my sunflower, celebrating sunflower class. We have one more week for registration on this, and then I'm gonna start prepping these. Um, this is my only class to go this month, and it features the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. If you guys are on Instagram, make sure you're following the account called Stamping Through the Catalog. Uh, they feature two different stamp sets each week, and right now they're featuring this one, so you can see lots of different samples. Um, there's so many beautiful things you can do with not just the stamp set, but the dies too. So my class will include a pack of the Memories and More cards and a bolt of ribbon, as well as eight cards, all right? Um, they're, they're pretty over the top. I call them over the top layered cards, all right? Um, the PDF, 
you it will include the PDF you can also get the class you can add the bundle on and when you buy the class with a bundle you also get you're getting these for free that's an $11 value okay if you want the details on all of this because I really kind of stumbled over that right there <laughs> um, at my blog pinkbuckaroo.com at the bottom of every post you can find a little photo click on it and it'll give you all the details okay um, I cannot list that registration link on um, online per Stampin' Up! policy. I can only send it through email. So make sure that you um, mess email me. Not Well, Messenger is fine too, but I'm much better with email. Email me and say, I'd like the link for the sunflower class. Um, Donna, you're asking, is there a lot of fussy cutting? No, I'm looking. I don't think there's any fussy cutting. No, there's no fussy cutting in this class because all the dyes right so no fussy cutting at all i don't see anything oh maybe you cut out a sentiment but you can use your paper trimmer for that all right not a fan of fussy cutting donna i know i know some of you aren't today we're doing fussy cutting on two projects i apologize to those of you who are not fans of fussy cutting no fussy cutting <laughs> okay um kathy new card club i'm glad you asked it's called club create and i haven't officially announced it yet it will um, I think the big announcement will go out tomorrow, okay? I'm not tomorrow, I'm sorry. Next week, end of next week. I've got some big things I gotta get through in the next four or five days um, before I can move on to that. Um, it's going to be a monthly club, subscription club, and uh, it's just gonna be awesome. There's gonna, it's just gonna be different every month. Sometimes we'll be coloring, sometimes we won't be coloring, sometimes we'll make cards, sometimes we'll make 3D projects. It'll be different every month. I'm just gonna pick a stamp set each month and design several projects to go with that. And uh, it'll be delivered right to your door. So, and then on your sixth month, you're gonna get uh, Stampin' Rewards, $25 in Stampin' Rewards, all right? So thanks for asking. It's coming next week. I My goal is to have it nailed down by next Facebook Friday so we can really talk about it, all right? Karen says she likes to fussy cut. It's relaxing. Karen, I do too. I like to fussy cut. Okay, we are ready. Oh no, prizes, prizes, prizes. Last week, if you share the video on Facebook, you are entered in a drawing to win a prize. All right, so I always have at least two prizes. Last week's winners are Janet Godshock. Janet, I'm sorry. Hopefully you can read your name backwards. And Becky Davies. Ladies, please message me your mailing address so I can send you these prizes. Thank you so much for sharing my video um, on Facebook. It does help me um, find new stampers and I appreciate it. This week I've got two palette thoughts. Have you guys noticed the stamp set? It's really interesting. So I've got two of these to give away and I will pick two people who share the video next week who will uh, win those. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you guys around I'm gonna switch you over, okay? Um, I'm gonna cover you up, close your eyes so you don't get seasick. And I'm gonna flip you over. I'm always worried I'm gonna hang up. I haven't done that in a while, but it can happen. Don't open yet, I'm still turning you. All right, let's see, are we straight? Can we see? Hold on, I gotta adjust that a little bit. Oh, sorry. Hopefully, hopefully you don't hear all that squeaking. Okay. Zany zebras, you guys. Who has the zany zebra stamp set? Raise your hand like we're in class. Who has it? It's really, really cute. It is only, it's $19. And how many stamps? 11 stamps in here. Um, I'm just, I just love it so much. Here are the projects we're going to make. If you haven't, been with me for Facebook Friday before. We always make three projects, typically three projects. I pick a stamp set or bundle and I show you three different ways to use it. Um, the PDF has all the measurements and all the products you need, as well as the host code for this week, which I'll explain in just a second, and the three things I just talked about, okay? Um, those specials that I told you about. Um, if you would like to put in an order this weekend, connected to today's Facebook Friday, you're gonna wanna use that host code. And I will send you the three make and takes 
for free. The packets will come like this. They look like this. Um, they have everything that you need in there to make the projects. I make a little thank you tag. It does not include stamped images. You're going to need the stamp set. Where is it? To make your projects, you're going to need the stamp set and the ink and adhesive, of course. Um, I will have everything else done for you. Scored, punched, cut, all of that. And all you'll have to do is stamp and put your projects together. All right, so that's free with a $35 order using this host code right here. It's also on the PDF and on my blog. Um, Monday by midnight, okay, that's the order deadline. Tuesday morning, first thing I get up and I cut all those packages, okay? All right, well, let's get started. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna pull my drink over here. It gets in the summer in this room, it gets really hot when I turn that fan down. <sighs> I know, summer, summer, summer. We enclosed this room, it used to be um, open, and I don't think that the air, <laughs> I mean, there's a vent in here, but I don't think it works quite as well as it would have this room been built with, you know, when the house was built. Okay, let's get started. I have to say this is my favorite card I think I've ever made. I just, it's so cute. I can't wait to show you how to make it. Um, and I love this one too with these new stitch triangles. And this one is, this one was the obvious choice for a project, I think. Um, you won't be surprised what's inside. I'm sure some of you have already guessed. Has anybody guessed what's inside? I bet Carla can tell me what's inside. Carla, I bet you know one of my <laughs> Cindy Diet Coke no <laughs> um, it's one of um, my favorite go-to's for a cheap well I shouldn't say cheap for an inexpensive treat yep you got it Les. yep Debbie's got it the zebra cakes you guys have seen this these right they're everywhere they're in every store that you can find little Debbie in case you cannot find little Debbie zebra cakes in your local store go to littledebbie.com oh did i link that on my blog i don't think i did i meant to add that link you can click on it and um it'll take you to the snack finder there's such a thing as a little debbie snack finder and enter your zip code and it'll tell you all the stores in your area that have these okay so this is what they look like and i mean they're the obvious choice right of course we have to make a zebra cake look all of you guessed yep carla i knew you would know um, it's the obvious choice, right? It's the obvious choice. Okay. Now, and I hope that, you know, during the pandemic, they'll be easy to find surely. Surely there hasn't been a run on Little Debbie Snacks, right? Although my grocery store has come back. Has y'all's grocery stores come back to normal? Um, I have been ordering my groceries to be delivered, so I haven't really been in the store much. And I went in last week or no, this week. And it was like everything was back to normal. There was Charmin toilet paper, you know, like everything you need. So I was very happy to hear that. So hopefully the little Debbies are easy to find. Okay, so the colors that I'm using for this um, are the new Magenta Madness. Love this color. Um, and then Gorgeous Grape, of course, black and white. So let's make the box first. Let me pull over my paper so I can see what the measurements are. Right here, all these measurements. So don't try to write them down. Don't worry, I'll go fast and you'll be like, I can't write all that down. You don't need to. This is a eight by eight and a half piece of Magenta Madness cardstock. We're gonna score the long side at one and three eighths, three and seven eighths, five and a fourth, and seven and three fourths. Turn it and score the short side. And you know, it's almost a square, so make sure you are paying attention because one is eight and a half and one is eight. The short side is the eight inch. You're gonna score it at one and three eighths and six and five eighths. All right, so let me move that out of the way because we need it again today. And I'm going to get my bone folder and we're going to burnish all these lines. And while I'm doing this, I'll tell you that I did um, do clean recordings. I was recording videos half the day today. I have um, 
some te a team a big team event coming up next weekend that I was recording some videos for recorded this so if you want to come back and look at it without all the Facebook chatter um, there will be clean recordings they're actually on YouTube I just need to link them over on the post all right so you can go back to today's post and you'll see under each little photo there's a there'll be a link that says clean recording or you can just go straight to my YouTube channel and they will be there as well they have all uploaded I just need to make them um, visible all right so we're gonna cut all the score lines along the long side then I'm gonna cut these the squares the two squares there's one here and one here I'm gonna cut the um, I'm gonna cut like a sliver off each one, okay? I'm gonna do the same over here. And I'm just gonna cut the slivers off while I do this. Look at this, what is this? My scissors are gunky, super gunky. All right, now, I think I did one thing that I didn't tell you, so I wanna make sure that I tell you. Let me finish this. Right here, this is gonna be the tab that gets tucked into the box. Um, so on either side of that, we're gonna cut that one completely off. All right, like that. So let me lay this down so you can see it. This is how we scored it. You can see this is like the skinny tab, okay? And, and on the clean recording, you can pause it and make sure that your paper looks like that. Um, let me grab my long scissors. So down here where we have the tab that's gonna be tucked in the box, these on either side, we wanna cut them so that they're about the same width as this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just don't want them this big because it's hard to tuck in the box when they're that big. All right, so just take your scissors or your trimmer and cut those in half. All right, now get your corner rounder. And if you tuck these in, they'll fit perfectly in. And you just wanna round those tabs like that. And the side tabs are a little trickier. You just gotta fold your paper back like that. See how I just folded all that back? And make sure you fill it nesting into that, that triangle there, that corner. All right, there we go, and one more. Squeeze that one in like that. <laughs> Marsha, it's so cute. These zebras are the cutest. All right, now I'm gonna use our new adhesive, Stampin' Seal Plus, and I will tell you that I have gone through a complete um, roll of both the stamp and seal and stamp and seal plus what I have learned is that uh, you need to have a light touch it works so much better if you use a light touch um, I was finding that I was having to really roll it a lot and sometimes you do you just have like the adhesive um, when it pulls off it's down here so you just do like that with your finger a little bit but what I found is that a light touch and it works beautifully. I am very heavy handed, especially having used fast fuse for so many years. I was very heavy handed with that. So you're gonna have to retrain yourself if you're like me. All right, now flip it to the front and I am going to do, um, see I almost called it fast fuse, stamp and seal plus on the outside of these square tabs, okay? And the stamp and seal plus is very, very sticky and I am finding that I like it more than the stamp and seal I don't know I just I just like I like the stamp and seal but I like the stamp and seal plus a lot all right we're gonna fold these tabs in and you want to get them so that they're square with the side tab all right like that fold these in make sure that you're lining the edges right here with that edge, like that, all right? And then these just tuck right down in there like that. All right, let's put our zebra cakes. I did find my, I was at our local grocery store, which we call HEB, um, and they had zebra cakes single, um, where you didn't buy the box, you could just buy the single zebra cake, and they were bigger, and it would make a square box. 
So I almost bought that, but then I thought, no, maybe not every store carries those single ones, but you could look for those if you wanted to not do two cakes, but it was bigger, so it probably would be the same amount of cake anyway. Who knows? And I think I've, I, our Walmart up by the register has single Little Debbie desserts too there. Okay, now, did you notice the zebra pattern back here? That looks like paper, like pattern paper, doesn't it? It's not. It's handmade zebra stripes. I can hear you're saying, no way, that's hard. It's totally not hard, you guys. Here's our whisper white piece. I've got a black, just a scrap. And you want it to at least be longer right here than like this, the width, I guess, needs to be wider than this so it can hang over. You're just gonna take your scissors and just do some wavy lines, okay? I'm gonna cut that one off because it has a straight edge. But I'm just gonna do some wavy lines. But I don't want them to all be the same. So make sure you don't follow the same pattern every time, all right? And we're just gonna kind of make some zebra stripes. Many, many years ago, many years ago, probably close to 10 years ago, I did a zebra print project. And this is what I, how I did it. So I went back to see how I did it. And it, there's nothing fancy. You just, you're just gonna cut some random wavy zebra stripes. Okay, see that? Just, just random. Now we're gonna get our Tombow. And I'm going to start by putting just a little bit of Tombow like this. And I'm going to start going at an angle. All right. Like that. It's very quiet here today. My oldest is at work. My middle child got to go to Ikea with my mom today. And the little one is playing Fortnite. She's back on Fortnite. We we got over Fortnite for a while and we were doing, what was she doing? What was she playing? I can't even remember what she was playing. I don't know. And But now she's back to Fortnite and she <laughs> plays with the little, the little boys that live here on the street, her buddies. And I can hear her in there yelling, Carter, don't, Carter, no. Like, why aren't you guys outside playing? They do play outside a lot too, but I'm glad that she's playing with kids she knows. I constantly tell them, if you don't know them in real life, you better not be talking to them or playing with them. So if I hear a random name, then I know she's gonna be in trouble. <laughs> okay, so you can see how I did that, okay? We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna trim off all the pieces along the straight edge, okay? All right, so let's set that aside for a moment. And let's do some stamping over here. Now, we're gonna stamp this guy. There are three little zebras on here and I had trouble picking each time which one, but I wanted to use all three. So we're gonna use this one. And look at this shape right here. Isn't that pretty? You may not have noticed it in the catalog because I don't think it's showcased very much. If you watched my catalog tour, video or whatever you want to call it. I talked about these. These are the Hippo and Friends dies. They're, you know that other cute, really cute stamp set with a little hippo? Um, I think that's a unicorn, butterfly. Um, they have, look, it's a lot of these labels, these nested labels. And so um, I think that even if you're not into that stamp set, this die set is really good to have because of the different size labels, different shape labels. So this is the second to largest one. It has the stitched lines. This one has stitching too. And then these look like they have an embossed edge. So you will probably see me using those quite a bit. All right, so let's stamp our little guy in memento on that cute little label, Hippo and Friends. <laughs> Lisa, yes, I know. Um, when when Addie is playing Fortnite with her sister, and they're both in there, especially late in the evening, they start screaming. I'm using the sentiment, guys. Memento Black stitched banner die, which is in the tasteful label dies. And they are yelling, 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 like squealing. And I'm like, guys, my goodness. 
every night, every night. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, the screaming. Okay. Now I have taken Magenta Madness designer series paper from the um, In Color DSP stack. We've got a strip of that. We've got a strip of <coughs> Gorgeous Grape DSP. I'm gonna use that side, two different patterns. That's from the Brights. I've also cut a stitched star um, with stitched stars dies from the Magenta Madness designer series paper. And we're gonna lay, we're gonna layer all those, but let's do this first. And I hate to cut this with my scissors because it's still wet, but we're gonna do it. You can use your trimmer if you want, or you can use your scissors. Just go along the back, trim off. Look, see, it's all sticking. Ugh. That's why my scissors a minute ago had that stuff sticking to it because I did this earlier. And just trim those um, stripes to be even with the edge. There we go. Oh, ugh. I'm gonna have to clean my scissors afterwards. All right, now I have this white piece. I know you guys are asking, some of you will ask me and I'll just tell you, it's, remember it's on the PDF. Five by two and a fourth. The black piece is five and an eighth by two and three eighths, all right? All right, so let's start. Oh, I feel myself pushing down hard. It's so hard to be light handed. And I'm gonna put that right there. I just wanted a little frame. Okay, now we're gonna put that on the box. And goes right there. Okay, now we'll start, and I am gonna lay these flat. I'm not gonna pop these up because I'm gonna pop these guys up. All right, let's do the grape. And I'm gonna do the grape kind of at a, you know, I bragged about this fast fuse and now it's gonna, it's gonna make me a liar. I'm gonna do this piece kind of wonky like that. All right, now dimensionals. Time for the dimensionals. Uh, Jennifer, your son does the same thing. I know. Uh, and I, you know, they, they will play the entire day, the entire day. Uh, it's so hard managing that, you know, especially when you work at home and you're trying to get work done because it <laughs> keeps them quiet and entertained, but yet, you know, you guys know, it's just hard. Um, Minecraft, they, they, that's what they were playing before. Minecraft I like because it's creative. They're using their creative skills. But Fortnite, not so much. All right, so there's that star. So there's our box, but wait, one last thing. It needs a bow. This is the black and white twine from the Playful Pets, whoops, the Playful Pets, um, ribbon trim combo pack what's it called it has a long name just trim pack playful bets trim pack at least that's what i typed and it's great ties really well sometimes when it's um, a twine that has two colors it's hard to tie like it twists and stuff but this one i am finding does not do that and i'm going to put that right there in the middle of that star and there you go how cute, you guys, so cute. Now, these would make great party favors, don't you think, a birthday party? Um, like I'm thinking like a three-year-old's birthday. Wouldn't that be cute? Who's having like a little animal theme or zebra theme? Um, but you could make it not girly um, if you change this to maybe a uh, Coastal Cabana or even uh, Daffodil Delight. Those would be more boy colors. So don't feel like it has to be um, a girl. Also, I think this set really lends itself to babies. Um, I think that the little zebras look kind of like babies. Um, so you could do this if somebody was doing kind of an animal theme for their nursery and they were having a shower, This these would make great party favors too, um, just using whatever colors they're using in their nursery. All right. And those little Debbie snacks, I mean, what is it? It's $2, right? And you get... It says, don't be fooled, it says 10 snack cakes, okay? But they're twin wraps, so it's really only five. That always trips me up, because I think there's gonna be 10 individuals. They're not, it's five. All right, so for $2, you get five party favors. I think it's pretty cheap. I mean, as far as candy goes, my gosh, candy is so expensive. 
So Little Debbie has remained affordable for now. Who knows? All right, good. I'm glad you guys like that. Let's get to the next one. I'm saving my favorite for last because I just, it's just the cutest. But you guys are going to like this one too. It uses a lot of new products, okay? Here he is. Um, this, this stamp set, I think, like this to me is a birthday card. Kick up your heels. But it could be something else, right, too. It could be welcome baby or, you know, I mean, whatever. But the, the sentiments are really good. Kick up your heels. Happy birthday. Wild about you. It's time to celebrate. You party animal. <laughs> so cute. So lots of options. If you didn't like that sentiment, of course, you could just totally change it. Now, the other... There are several new things actually in here. Let me get all my stuff ready. Um, the other stamp set, I'm actually using another stamp set and it's the camouflage background stamp. Um, I love background stamps. You guys, if you know me, you know I love background stamps. So this is one of the first ones that I used out of the new catalog. Um, so we'll be using that and the stitched triangle dies. Remember I said that looks like pizza. You can make a little pizza punch art, that'd be cute. But I also was kind of like, how else am I going to use these? Well, easy. You just use it like a, you know, like a square or a circle or whatever on your card. Just a geometric little tag on your card. And it turns out really, really cute. So that's what we're doing. Using and, ooh, we're going to use the rainbow glimmer paper too. All right. Okay, well, let's do our camo uh, first. And we're going to do... My husband would probably cringe. We're doing purple camo. <laughs> Gorgeous grape camo. Um, let's see. I'm going to line it up. If you are using a background stamp, I highly recommend you use your Stamparatus. Uh, the Stamparatus is going to allow you to restamp. A lot of times, because it's so big, it's hard to get a solid image all the way across. Um, but with a Stamparatus, you can just lay the stamp back down and press on whatever part didn't stamp. Um, it also allows you to re-ink the stamp so that if your image isn't dark, like on colored cardstock, sometimes it's hard to get a, a solid image, um, you can re-ink it, which is what I'm going to do, and stamp it again. So see right here? Like if I was to do it with my hand and pull my stamp up, I couldn't lay my stamp back down to fix that. But with the Stamparatus, I just lay it back down and push where it didn't stamp. Push there and ta-da. I know, I could never use a background stamp again without a Stamparatus. All right, so I'm gonna re-ink it again. Gorgeous grape ink, gorgeous grape cardstock. Denise, the party hat's very cute, I know. So cute. Oh, you mean the, the triangle dies? Yes, that would be cute. Hey, Terry. Oh, Terry, your maybe list. Terry, I love to convince Terry she needs things that she didn't think she wanted. We laugh about it all the time. I, I, I tease her and I say, let me see what Terry didn't order. And that's what I'm gonna use at our team meetings. <laughs> right, Terry? Um, this one's really cute, Terry. It would make cute baby cards. All right, so we've got some purple camo and I'm just gonna trim it. Now, we're not gonna use, obviously we're not gonna use the whole piece, right? We just need a strip. So I'm gonna cut a strip. Let me look at my measurements. One, just one, just one inch, one by five and a half. I was thinking it was like one and a half, but it's one. All right, and I will save, I'm gonna save the rest of this probably to make my tags to go in my Facebook Friday projects. Smart idea, right? Oh, hello, I gotta trim this part too. All right, five and a half. I know the purple with the magenta, Vicki looks really good. It looks very good. Okay, so I also have a half inch strip, again, of the Magenta Madness DSP. I've got a piece of, uh-oh, where's my party hat? I've got a piece of Highland Heather um, card stock that is, oh, I said it's Purple Posy. Nope, it's Highland Heather. 
on the paper it says purple posy but it's highland heather um and it is two by five and a half and i'm just gonna go down the side with this cute little party hat just kind of to make some some more texture all right all the way up and down now let's put let's see where's my card base here's my card base this is just a half sheet of whisper white thick you know we have whisper white and regular which is what you would stamp on it's a little bit slick it stamps really well by the way if you've never ordered our whisper white huge difference when you stamp when i first started i was like i am just gonna buy cheap white cardstock from the office store totally not the same you guys with our whisper white is designed for stamps and your stamps will be so much crisper and they will be so much better if you invest in our whisper white Okay, that was totally like a sidebar. <laughs> whisper white, normal. Whisper white thick. This is a half sheet. You cut it four and a fourth, score it at five and a half, okay? All right, now I'm gonna take that camo and get my, this is a brand new uh, stamp and seal. And I'm gonna put that over towards the right a little bit. All right, now for the... DSP and I think I don't know if I said this is half a half inch half inch wide DSP okay and now we're gonna put it on our like that our card we're gonna put it over here on the left side okay now because I obviously can't cut paper oh my goodness I got ink all over me because I obviously can't cut paper right we're gonna trim that off to make it even with the card. Better to be too long than too short. All right, now let's do some die cutting, okay? And then we will do our little zebra. We're gonna cut that triangle. Um, this is what Denise was saying, party hat. Denise, that gave me a great idea. We're gonna use this. Um, where are my math teachers at? What kind of triangle is this? I'm sure these all have different names. And we're gonna use this little banner die. I like this little banner die too. We're gonna cut the banner out of, again, Magenta Madness designer series paper. And get ready, if you're not looking, you better look. Oh, do you hear the angels singing? Rainbow glitter paper. I've already used some of it like this. It goes over here, I guess. No, that's not right. I don't know. I've cut, been cutting it and using it for other projects. Um, so you can use, I mean, oh, you guys, don't be afraid to cut it because I know that's what's going to happen. You're going to order it and you're going to say, I don't want to cut it. It's too pretty. It's so, it's so pretty. Um, you got to cut it. You got to use it, okay? So don't be afraid to cut it. I actually cut it up quite a bit for my stamp club projects this month. And I was glad that I did. You won't regret it. If you cut it up and you use it, then you just can order more, don't worry. Um, Lisa, I saw what you asked me about my trimmer. Do I have measurements to, taped on the inside? No, what I did is I put um, washi tape on the inside of the blade, not the blade, the little um, plastic flap that comes up so that I can see the numbers a little bit better. Um, when you're going down, where is my trimmer? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, let me just show y'all what she's asking. See right here? I put tape there so that then I can see these better. Um, if you, When you are cutting and you wanna make sure that you're getting right to the two, it was hard to see that. So I found that putting the tape on the other side makes those numbers stand out, stand out a lot better. So yeah, I always get asked that question whenever I use my trimmer. Um, on a video. Nothing special, just washi tape, just so that I can visually see it. Oh, <laughs> Terry. Terry says, I had no intention of getting those triangle dies, but now maybe. I can totally hear you saying that. Terry, I miss you. I haven't been able to see my team in a while because of this stupid COVID. I miss seeing you guys so much. Um, you're welcome, Terry. I'm just trying to help you. Just trying to help you make your minimums. Oh wait, we gotta cut some more. I said this last week, but Terry is my um, longest lasting, no, how do I wanna say it? She's, she's at the top of my downline list, which means 
she's been in my downline longer than anybody else and she's I think she's pretty proud of that too we laugh about it she says good thing you didn't say oldest last week and I said I know better than that come on now <laughs> okay now so there's that and if you are like I know some of you would save that oh it's so pretty but no nope, I'm throwing it away okay we're almost there we're almost there let's stamp our little guy now where's Donna at Donna there's some fussy cutting I'm sorry but don't worry here and you know it's somebody um else last week said that it hurts their hands to fussy cut and I totally understand that um with arthritis and stuff so what you could do instead is just do a circle right you're going to have the same effect it's still going to be super cute um instead of fussy cutting just do use a circle or maybe one of the rectangle or square dies find one that's the closest um fitting around the edge of the you know the shape and use that so don't feel like oh i can't make that card because i didn't i can't fussy cut um because there's always options i always end up fussy cutting i can't i can't seem to resist it but i know some of you do not like it what i recommend when you fussy cut is to use your smallest sharpest pair of scissors um, being small will help you maneuver around and being sharp will help you not have to chew up your paper um, and you want to stay on the outside of that black line okay and turn the paper not your scissors all right so see how i'm kind of steering the paper like that and so look i mean i didn't cut that very well but you're not gonna see that. When it's down on the card, all you're seeing is that black line. You're not seeing like, oh, she didn't you know, go around that perfectly. No, you're just seeing the black line. It's like a, you know, an optical illusion. All right, so let's stamp the sentiment. I used this one because he looks like he's kicking up. Um, kick up your heels in gorgeous grape. Oh, I'm gonna leave that open. And then we're gonna get some dimensionals. I'm gonna use the edge of this dimensional because I'm getting down to the bottom. And I'm gonna put this right at an, like at an angle like that, okay? Then I'm gonna take the little stars. These are in the same stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp several times around that triangle. And now we're gonna glue these beautiful, look at that, it's ombre, it's so pretty. Yes, I know I have ink on my hands. I'm gonna hear somebody say, ow, your hands are dirty. It's a workplace hazard to have ink on your hands. All right, so let me see how I did this. I actually, I'm gonna do the other one first. And I'm just, because it's gonna hang off a little bit, I'm just gonna put, a little bit of Tombow on the four middle triangles, not the outside ones, because they may hang off some like that one right there. Okay, and then this one's gonna kind of go across like that. All right, and I feel like that's a little bit long. <laughs> Should I cut it? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. You can trim off one or two of those if you feel like it's sticking out a little bit, but I kind of like it. In my clean recording, I trimmed it and I regretted it. So I'm gonna leave it. All right, some dimensionals on our little zebra. And I'm gonna kind of do it like that. So it looks like he's kicking. Now, he's covered up those stars, right? So that's okay. We're just gonna come over and add a few more. So maybe we should wait to stamp them after we put him down there. Okay, now all we need to do is embellish. So we've got these playing with pattern resin dots. These are pretty flat. They're matte, they have a matte finish. They are not shiny. Um, and I believe, let's see, what is this? I'll probably tell you the wrong number, the wrong colors. Coastal Cabana, Bumblebee, Purple Posy. This triangle was Purple Posy also. So I'm just gonna take a few of these and put them like he's kicking them around, right? Cause it says, kick up your heels. And last but not least, you know what's coming, right? A bow. And when you have a tricolor ribbon that has all three of the purples that you used, you have to use it. I 
love this ribbon. I really was hoping Stampin' Up! would um, bring this ribbon in other colors. So far, they did not. I don't know, they didn't hear me. I should probably write them a letter and say, please, we need more tricolored ribbon. Now I want this bow to be, I want, let's see if I can do it. Usually it'll just do it naturally. I want the legs, one to go up and one to go down. So I'm gonna manipulate it until it does what I want it to do. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that at an angle, cut that a little bit shorter. And a glue dot and we will put that right there and we are done how cute now that would be a cute birthday invitation or shower invitation to go with your party favors right so smart now who's got somebody in their life with a baby that is going to use a zebra theme anybody <laughs> it's kind of specific but maybe a birthday party i just think it's so cute okay one more. Let me clean off my space and make room for the cutest card I've ever made in my whole life. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I am overreacting, but I love it. It's so cute. And I don't know where I got this idea either. Can't remember. I saw something on Pinterest, not Pinterest, on Instagram with the rainbow, and I was like, "Oh, a rainbow card. We must make a rainbow card." Okay. Let me bring all of this over. And here it is. It's so cute. It's like a bright rainbow. Um, we've got Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape, Purple Posy. And I want to point out to you, um, thank you. I'm glad you like it, Elise. Thank you. That's what I said too when I made it. So freaking cute. Um, on the PDF, you'll notice I added, usually I put the measurements underneath, but instead of retyping all of that, I just made another column and I put all the measurements of these scraps. But I want to um, make sure that you know yours does not have to be the exact measurements. These were all scraps that I pulled out of my scrap drawers, okay? Um, and I just kind of, arranged them and snipped them when the final product was done then I measured them so because I know some of you want to want to know exactly the measurements but don't feel like it has to be um, just like that okay um, so I'm going to show you how to make that but I also want to point out the zebra right here the little party hat is so tiny um, and I was like there even if I was to fussy cut the little pom-pom on the the hat it was not going to look good so I just cut that pom-pom off and I looked through my embellishments and decided hey why don't we use a butterfly instead and I think it's super cute um, so that's that and I noticed in the picture um, that I took and put on my blog that it's kind of like falling down so I just wanted to point that out that that's where that is supposed to go up there at the top okay okay let's make our card base first and um, I wanted that rainbow to really pop and so I knew I wanted just a white card base but I didn't want just plain white so we're gonna emboss a piece of whisper white now this card base is whisper white thick, but you know, last time I cut it this way um, to make a card that opens at the top like this, but this time I needed that fold to be at the top this way, uh, horizontal. You know, the, most greeting cards open like this, um, but I do most of my cards like this. And the reason is, it's a really dumb reason. Um, years ago when I first started making cards, when I, I found that when I photographed them, that a card that was like this, straight up and down, did not photograph as well as a card at an angle. So that's why I always make mine that way. I know, it's a dumb reason. Um, but this card is basically your normal card like that, but just turned this way. So it's a half sheet, eight and a half by 11, cut at five and a half and scored at four and a fourth, okay? And then I have this piece. This is just regular Whisper White, four by five and a fourth. And we're gonna emboss it with the new Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. I love that name, Dainty Diamonds. Now I have my, here we go. Oh, Pepper's just right here, sound asleep. I didn't even know she was in here. She's sleeping. She's been so good. I, well, I don't wanna say it, but I think she's potty trained. 
fully. Now, as soon as I say that, you know what's going to happen. But there has been no accidents in the house the last three, four days. I think we are there. Shh. I just totally shot myself in the foot, didn't I? She, in case you haven't seen Pepper before, she is my five-month-old mini schnauzer. Um, dainty diamonds, okay? Dainty diamonds. If you have the big shot, you need the purple plate for this. Thank you, Shannon. I'm glad you guys like it. I loved it so much. Like, I wanted to show my husband, look at this super cute card. But I know he'd be like, oh, really? But my daughter did come in and saw it. And she's like, that's so cute, Mom. Yes. If the teenager likes it, then, yeah, it must be cute. All right, so I'm just going to adhere this flat, okay? Like that. Isn't that pretty? I, I think that is such like an elegant pattern. Um, it's not, it doesn't take away, um, but it's, it's just really pretty. Okay, now for all of our little pieces here. And you know, you guys, you can use any color. I really wanted it to, to be kind of a bright, cheery pattern, not your standard rainbow. And this piece, uh, Whisper White, did I put this? I think I put this on the list. Um, four and a half by one and a half, okay? It's just a scrap. And what I started with is just placing my pieces um, to kind of get an eyeball, you know, like how I wanted them to go. I want some to be flat and I want some to be popped up. So I'm gonna slide, every other one is gonna go behind. Okay, so magenta, mango, daffodil, granny apple, then we'll do coastal back here. See how they're all kind of wonky? And then um, Bermuda Bay, and then Gorgeous Grape, and Purple Posy. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna take off, actually, Gorgeous Grape needs to be behind there. Every other one, flat and then overlapping. Okay, so now we've got that. So take off those on the top every other one like that and now we're just gonna start adding these like this and you don't want them all to be the same height and width too you want some to be lower some to be higher when we trim them at an angle they will definitely be different anyway but um you know, don't try not to make it all the same. Okay. Now, make sure that's all stuck. Let me get my dimensionals. Now I'm gonna stick a dimensional here in the middle. Oh, Cindy, thank you. I thought these were cute. I thought, are they gonna like these? These are so cute. Okay, I'm glad you guys like them as much as I do. All right, so let's do that one like that. And this one probably needs to go like that. And this one we'll do down a little bit. And this one we'll do kind of, see I did this, it's a little bit too crowded. I feel like maybe this Whisper White piece needs to be a little bit longer. Well, I guess that didn't really help because I can't move that one. That's okay, we'll have it hanging off. And I did this earlier too. Let's take that dimensional off and let's just put a skinny, let's put a skinny one there so it can hang off because it doesn't have to fit within the borders of that piece. There, okay, right, looks good, but it's not done. Grab your scissors. Ooh, that's gonna need another dimensional there. Let's do that because I can tell it's gonna twist around. See how it's like moving, that wasn't enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now take your scissors and just start cutting those like little picket fences. Or, yeah, you know, like at an angle. Like little fence picket, that's what I was trying to say. And we'll do that one like that, okay? Doesn't this look like some kind of, um, it reminds me of some kind of sign. I can't think of what it is, like a restaurant sign. 
there's something now see this happened earlier too i well i guess you can see it i don't want that gorgeous grape to be hidden okay we'll just cut and i didn't cut them at an angle ahead of time because i didn't know exactly how long or short i would need to make them so i did it after they were all there and look it looks good right and it doesn't have to be the same i've made this card this is the third time where's my other one they're all going to look a little bit different right and that's okay they're all going to be just a little bit different even like that piece is skinnier all right so you know what i'm going to use stamp and seal plus i will probably call this fast fuse more than i call it stamp and seal plus oh, beautiful i love the way it goes on i'm going to use that because this is a heavy piece okay there we go so stinking cute now time for our little zebra who's really the star of this card we're going to stamp him in memento hello you guys hello everybody that are joining late that's okay you can watch from the beginning later i think most people most people um watch you know in the replay all right now here's that little party hat again and i'm gonna am i already over time man the last few times i've been way over time haven't i i try to let you guys out of class right at three o'clock <laughs> but the last few times chatty kathy i don't know all right now I'm going to take my Magenta Madness stamp and blend. By the way, you guys, I'm sure you saw my In Color Club post yesterday. Um, some of my In Color Club members have already received their packages. It was fun. It was a lot of work this time. I've got more people in my In Color Club than ever, um, which is exciting. But it, it's a lot of work to sort all that out. And all those boxes, you guys, that I posted a picture of, that was not all my stuff. Y'all know that, right? I had several people were like, how do you order all that? It was in color club. It was product shares. It was um, sunflower class. So believe me, 90% of that was not my stuff. <laughs> I wish. Um, so I colored that with light magenta madness. And I did the little dots with dark. Okay. I love this, this marker. Now, fussy cut again. But again, remember, you don't have to fussy cut find a circle, an oval, a square, a rectangle, some kind of die, and just cut them out like that. You'll still have the same effect. Okay. Yes, there is a machine that is called a scan and cut that can cut your stamped images out. It's very expensive and I do have one, um, but I'll tell you that it is more trouble than it's worth. I have a hard time getting it to do what I want it to do. I usually end up if I have to cut a bunch of things out like this, like let's say I'm making 70 cards with a zebra and I think, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to use that machine and it'll do all the cutting for me. By the time I get it to actually scan right and cut right, I could have already had them all cut out. I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't know what my deal is with that machine because I've always had an, some kind of e cutter that I've used, you know, not like for different things, scrapbooking, whatever. And for some reason I cannot get that machine to do what I want it to do. All right, so just become friends with Fussy Cutting. It's a lot cheaper. This pair of scissors right here is $9.99. Now cut this hat out, it's tiny, very tiny. Remember, just cut off that pom-pom. We don't need that pom-pom. Um, and I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna put that little glue dot right there between his ears, okay? So glue it right on him like that. Now also, what you can't see, which makes it even cuter in person, is that I took my wink of Stella and I made her glittery, sparkly. She's so cute. All right, so if you'd like to add a little, even something more, get out your wink of Stella. Let's see if you guys can see. I can't even see it in the light. And give her some sparkle, okay? All right, now we're gonna put her on with dimensionals. Um, Debbie, that's a good question. It, she says, is there a reason Stampin' Up! doesn't do dies for all the stamp sets? I would venture there's lots of reasons. Um, I would say, first of all, just um, cost-wise, you know, to manufacture that many different dies. 
um, as we, as you may know, our, our dyes come from overseas and we already have enough issues trying to get, um, you know, those things in stock. And before you say they should make them in the United States, let me just tell you, if they were made in the United States, they would cost like a hundred dollars each. So that's why, um, there's a lot of, there's so many like industrial type details that go into all of that. So I won't even... I won't even go into that. But um, I think it's just, you know, space in the catalog, space in the warehouse. Oh, I just, okay, uh, I, did, I did that bad. Um, cost, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know if there's one reason. And you know, sometimes what they've done in the last year or two, well, maybe they just did it, you know, in the spring, they came out with dyes that matched the stamp set in the catalog that, didn't have dyes. So maybe, you know, maybe they're coming. Who knows? I don't know. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? It would be awesome. But I don't, hey, I'm not, don't start rumors. I have no idea. I was just, <laughs> I was just suggesting, remember, when we had those dyes that came out. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was going to show you. Remember the little butterfly to replace the pom-pom? I'm gonna get that purple posy butterfly and put right on top of the hat. And there she is. I'm sorry, but she's so stinking cute. You guys, what do you think? I, I think it's my favorite card ever. Well, top five at least. So cute, so cute. I think that would just be so cute for a little girl's birthday. Don't you guys? All right, so let's see what we made. We made that card, we made this card. Um, I have three because I have the clean recordings. Remember, they'll be on my blog in just about 30 minutes. And then the boxes, the zebra cake boxes. All the details are here on the PDF under the last photo of today's blog post, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, if you would like for me to send you the prod, um, the materials, thank you, that's the word, the materials for each one of these, I'll send them to you for free with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. And those details are right here. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because remember, you're gonna get those stamina re rewards that I talked about at the beginning. And I will still send you the projects. When you use a host code for me, it's collecting stamp and rewards. And every few weeks I use those stamp and rewards and I buy prizes for you guys. Um, and I replenish some of the cardstock and stuff that I use for the free make and takes. But if you're gonna get stamp and rewards, I would much rather you get them. So if your order is over $150, please don't use the host code so you'll get some more freebies, okay? All right. Well, Catherine, good. I'm glad your zebra will be there Monday. Now you've got three projects. Remember, you guys change colors, change, um, uh, you know, DSP, make it your own and uh, share with me. I'd love to see it. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me. Next Friday is the fruit set, Cute Fruit. If you have not seen it, it is in the beginner brochure catalog and it's stinking cute. And I am itching to get started. I have some things planned. I bought some things to make. So next Friday at 2 p.m. Central, I'll be back. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Let me know if you have questions and make sure you get those orders in by Monday at midnight. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.